Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's webinar, Metrica Uncovering. My name is Enzo, co-founder of Metrica Sports, and I will be your host for this exciting session. We're very excited to finally release what we think it's a first step into a new era in sports analysis. And for that step, we will reveal the release of our latest software, the evolution of play by Metrica Sports. So first, just for you to know, if you have questions while listening uh, this session, you can already write them. There is a Q&A button below. Just click there and write your questions. We will try to answer as many as possible uh, at the end of, of this session. Okay, so let's begin. Of course, I'm not alone. Joining us today, some members of the Metrica Sports team. Uh, so first, I would like to introduce to Ruben Saavedra, our CEO and co-founder. You might know him. Ruben, why don't you introduce the company, where we come from, and what's the vision for the coming years? Sure. Thank you very much for the introduction, Enzo. So, yeah, we founded Medica Sports in 2014 with the objective to bring professional analysis tools to coaches and analysts at every level of, of the game. And we started by working with some of the biggest clubs in the world, and we learned a lot from them. And together with significant investments in technology and development, we managed to get to where we are today with over a thousand customers all over the world. And during the last uh, few months, we have been very busy developing this new software. And while we may not have been communicating a lot with you, uh, we have been listening. We received a lot of feedback, and that feedback has been crucial for the development of, of this new software. So thank you very much for that. Uh, and uh, this release today really marks an important milestone, not only for the future of Medica Sports, of course, but we believe also for the future of sports analysis in general. Because this is not the end at all. Uh, this is rather the start of a very exciting journey that we're starting now. Because we will soon be adding more functionality, live analysis functionalities, AI functionalities. And actually, we make a firm commitment now that uh, every month we'll make a new release with new functionalities going forward. Because our goal is to ensure that Medica Sports remains at the forefront of sport analysis, but always keeping in mind the alignment with your very diverse needs and budgets. That's great, Ruben. Thanks a lot. Okay, now I will also like to introduce to this webinar to Sancho Quinn. Uh, Sancho is our business development manager. Sancho is also a performance analyst himself. So I would like to ask you uh, about video analysis scenario. So how has the analysis landscape changed over the last few years with regards to big and smaller teams? Hi, Sancho. Thanks, Enzo, and welcome, everybody. So video analysis has become a must at all levels of sport. As long as you have your match video, you can provide video feedback to players, and the appetite for data analysis is growing and growing at all levels. While these sort of software and tools have historically been expensive and inaccessible, we've been at the forefront of democratizing this market and providing these top-level tools to all levels of sport. Today, we're excited to take this evolution a step further with our newest software release. Okay, so what are the tools that we recently included in play that are, are like a must for any video analyst or coach? Our tracking data powered telestration is the fastest, easiest, and most accurate way of preparing your video presentations for player feedback. Recently, we added smart tagging, an AI-powered match tagging of key events that has the potential to learn coding or eventing and then recreate this automatically in future games. You can now create your own data with CodePad within the software. You can also utilize smart tagging. And for those who already have existing data sources, we can integrate these within the software via industry standard XMLs, meaning you can easily integrate your video and data and have a connected view of the feedback you're trying to deliver back to your team. We've also democratized the tracking data market. For a low price, anyone can process their videos using our cloud technology and can download this raw XY tracking data for video or data analysis. In addition, we released our tracking correction manager, which allows you to create full tracking data with player identities replicating the type of data you see at the very elite level of sport in competitions like the World Cup and the Champions League, but for a fraction of the cost and without the need for any hardware whatsoever. All right. Uh, thank you, Sancho. Thank you, Ruben. 
We will soon reveal the updates about our new software. Now let's hear from one of our power users, Ravi Ramineni. Ravi founded the analytics department at the Seattle Sounders as VP of analytics. He helped install a data-driven culture at the most successful MLS team of the past decade, uh, winning two MLS Cups and the CONCACAF Champions League. Ravi has been using play by Metrica Sports extensively and has achieved uh, remarkable results. So that's why we are very excited to have him here today to share his insights and experiences. Let's hear it. Thanks for joining us today, Ravi. Thanks for having me. All right, so um, to start, maybe you wanna give us a little bit of uh, background where you come from, how you got into football analytics, feel free. I will keep it short. I, uh, um, I come from India um, originally, uh, but I, I moved to Microsoft um, and I have a background in computer science. My job at uh, Microsoft gave me a lot of uh, a training in analyzing large data sets. And so I, um, I got an opportunity um, uh, at Seattle Sounders, um, the local team. After that, I after about nine year, nine full seasons and a little bit um, with Seattle, I moved to a company which was working with this multi club. It's a multi club ownership company. Uh, we ended up starting our own um, consultancy called Source Football. Uh, so, what made you decide to get Metrica Sports when you were at the Seattle Sounders? So I think specifically at the time, um, we were looking for a system that would give us better better tracking data to, to measure the fitness side of the game, as well as also start to build like better metrics using not just using event data, but also using tracking data, merge the event and tracking data. So um, yeah, so I think there's, those are the things that moved us, like the platform was unique and um, something that where we could analyze the our coaches wanted a better platform too at the time to 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 put telestrations on the on the on the video to show it to the players uh, and also use it um, more efficiently rather than watching the same video for hours and hours. So I think you already kind of touched into that, but what would you say is a like a a unique characteristic of Metrica Sports. I mean, there was a lot of other companies in the market back then, also today. But what would you say makes Metrica unique in the sense that we're still in touch, that we're still <laughs> talking about? I think one big thing was that it felt like, uh, I think Metrica was solving some problems that were very unique and very common in football. Um, with coaches and, and you know the, some of the things were very it was very like it felt like from the beginning it felt like a product that was very much they built the product keeping in mind uh, what are the problems that day-to-day -day analysts and coaches face the pricing was also very good for us in terms of like how it worked out with in terms of licenses and and all that it all helped out so so I think all of that made sure that we we got us closer to using um, Metrica Sports. And how does uh, Metrica Sports fit in, the, in your current work? I think the Metrica platform with um, where we can do the um, um, tracking and the automated tracking, I think that would be really helpful um, if we were to get into something where well, we're looking at a player in a certain league um, that there is no tracking data for. Um, we could pick up ten games and um, get the tracking done and analyze the analyze the you know put it into our system and do the do the what we do with um, other players that we have tracking data for. So I think that's where it makes it um, very unique um, and useful. Okay, Ravi, that's it. Uh, I just want to thank you for the time uh, that you spent speaking with me today. So yeah, we really appreciate your time, your insights, and yeah, thank you very much for joining us. Thank today. you for having me. Yeah, good to good to good to talk to you again. Thank you, Ravi.
So now the moment we've all been waiting for, the release of our brand new software. Let's take a look. Play3 is designed to empower coaches, analysts, support staff to produce the highest level analysis in the easiest and most efficient way possible. We always want to push the boundaries of what's possible, which is why we developed this software from scratch using brand new technologies that are going to allow us to implement a host of exciting new features, including a move towards real time analysis, streaming of video, streaming of data, and a few things that we're going to keep secret just for now. So what will we see in the first release of Play 3? Well, first and foremost, it's going to be a lot more performance. That means faster loading times, faster processing times, better video performance, and even a brand new powerful video editor timeline, which is going to be a real pleasure to work with and I save you a lot of time in your workflows. On top of this, Metrica has always been a leader in the tracking technologies department. And this new software has enabled us to produce an even better tracking for telestration purposes. There's also a huge improvement in exports. That means the time it takes to export videos, a lot more customization in terms of the settings, if you wanna change the quality, the frame rate, the bit rate. And I think possibly most importantly, the ability to export in the background. Previously, when you were exporting, the system would block you from doing any further work until the export had finished. Now you can queue one, two, five, ten exports and continue working on another presentation. Again, saving you a huge amount of time in your work. There's also a huge amount of increased customization within Play 3. You can now have exactly the styles, the fonts, the colors you want and save these as presets to be used again and again. We now also have a fully flexible interface within Play 3. Everything within the software is modular, which means if you want to resize elements, rearrange it, you can customize the layout exactly how you want it. In addition, you can also move things to a second screen. So maybe you want to put the presentation mode in a second screen, or even just put the video in a second screen and just have the editing on your laptop. You now have a lot of flexibility to work in the way you want to work. So now let me hand over to Joao, who will show us the software in action. Thank you, Sancho. Hey, everyone. I'm very excited to show you Play 3 and all the new features that we have available for you. So let's get straight into it. We've kept Play 3 as simple and easy to use as the previous version, but with much better editing tools. First thing you'll notice is you can move the different windows around and place them wherever you prefer. You can resize them to better fit your screen size and you can also use it in two different screens. Everything is modular, so you can create your own personal layout. You have a window called Organizer, where you can import and access all your videos and playlists. You can also have multiple workspaces open in different tabs. You have a window for the visualizations, 
This is where you'll choose the annotations to highlight your clips. And you have some really cool ones. The video canvas, of course, now allows you to scroll frame by frame and zoom in. This makes editing on the far side much easier. You can change the speed, rewind, go forward, and now you can listen and export your videos with the original audio track. The timeline is where you'll edit your annotations and you'll realize how smooth it is to scroll, to zoom and edit your work, regardless of how many annotations you have. The elements window is where you'll be able to change the attributes of the annotations you create, like color, size, radius, width, and all the other settings that will make your visuals stand out. So let's add some cool annotations. In your visualizations window, you'll find them divided in groups to help you find what you're looking for. Let's check Spotlight and choose the number two. Just like in the previous version, you click on it and it's added to your timeline. Now you choose the player or players you want to highlight and in the elements window, you can process the player tracking to have it follow the player for as long as you want it to last. You can create more tracking boxes right from this menu without having to add another spotlight. This allows you to track different players for different lengths of time within one annotation. Cool, huh? Manual player tracking is made easier now because you can scroll frame by frame and be more accurate when following the player, especially with the new zooming ability. This is the favorite tab where you'll find the essential settings to change the visuals to your preference. We've narrowed it down in one place. You can at any time add or remove any other setting that you think you're gonna use often. Now you can choose any color you want or use the color picker tool to select the exact one from your team's jersey. And you only need to do this once since you can save it as a preset for future edits. Let's go over the visualizations window and add an ID ring to our clip. Notice here on the elements window, you have several elements you can choose to change any details you want in each one of them. You can play around with the units quantity, the gap length, the width. You can pick different colors and create an original visual that you like. You can change the player ID color and the font you can even add your own favorite fonts to your computer and use it in Play 3. Once you've created an annotation you like and will use very often, you can save it as a preset. It will be saved in your own preset folder, so next time you want to use it, all you have to do is click on it. How easy is that? You can mark the annotations you use the most as your favorite and have them all available in one single folder. Working with automated tracking data is now even faster. Let's select this process clip, head over to our visualizations window and choose a link ring to connect our defensive line here. And it's done. Some of the new available annotations are the tactical visualizations. These help you highlight different areas of the field and make your tactical message super clear. Like any other annotation, it's fully editable and savable as a preset. With Play 3, you can now create sequential pauses to highlight different phases of one moment in detail. This was a big request from our loyal clients and we made sure to make it a priority. Let's now check the export engine. Now you have much more control over the settings of your output, such as quality, frame rate, or estimated size. Now, when you've finished your work and you want to share it, you can keep working while the video is being saved to your computer in the background. Another big request from our customers we made sure to implement. All these new features will make your video stand out so much, but what I'm most excited about is how easy it is to get the work done, just like in the previous version. Look at this. You can import a video really quickly, Drag the field automatically, and while it's processing, start adding the annotations you want. 
And of course, with presentation mode now working as a separate window, you can present your work to your players on a second screen. I can't wait to hear your feedback and see your work on social media. I'm always happy to see the new ways you guys come up to enhance your performance analysis. So yeah, I'm super excited. Thank you so much for watching. Wow, nice. Thanks for this amazing presentation, Joao. Awesome, right? And that's really only the start. We decided to develop a new play from scratch so that we can implement even more amazing features in the, in the near future. So hold tight. In the coming months, Play 2 and Play 3 will coexist. Work in Play 3 will start by either importing playlists or clips from Play 2 or from Metrica Cloud, or by adding clips directly onto, onto Play 3. And you can continue using Play 2 as you were using until now, or generate your playlists and then bring them into Play 3. OK, so Play 3 is live now. And to celebrate, everyone will have full access to Play 3 with full functionality for free for a week. So at the end of this webinar, just go to metricasports.com, go to the Downloads tab, download Play 3, and start having fun. And after that week, there will be new plans, some cheaper ones with access to Play 2 only, and some with access to both. And as a token of appreciation for our current paid customers, we will keep the same price for them. So they will have access to Play 3 for the same amount they are paying now. And as I said before, this is the first release of many to come. We will be adding more and more functionality so that professional teams can analyze their games with the best solution in the market, and everyone can analyze the games like the professionals do. Top-notch visualizations, video streaming and recording, tactical board, sharing with the bench, and much more to come. So that's it from me. Should you have any questions, please use the question button below so that we can answer them live now. Or feel free to send an email to support at metricasports.com and we'll be happy to reply to you by email. Thank you. All right, thanks a lot, Ruben. Um, so these are awesome good news, I guess, for everyone. Uh, so yes, Play 3 is now available for a week to everyone. But uh, before you start using uh, the new software, uh, let's take a moment to address any final questions uh, you may have. Uh, so please uh, type your questions in the Q&A section. Um, we will try to answer as many as possible. Uh, so Sancho, Ruben, Joao, let's uh, get into it. Um, so I have a question from John. Um, he asks about uh, the basic plan. So I have the basic plan. Do I have access to play three? And then Ebo Boritze uh, is asking, how do we transfer from the old plans to the new plans? So I'm I'm saying these two together because they are related. So uh, I don't know who, who wants to address okay. this one. Okay. I can take it. Um, so yeah, it's all good news for you. Uh, you don't have to do absolutely anything. Just go to metricasports.com to the Downloads tab and download Play 3. Anyone that has already a paid plan has access to, uh, from the basic and above uh, has access to Play 3. So that's all you have to do. Just download it and go ahead. Uh, and even more, uh, we're keeping the price for you guys. So current customers, uh, the prices will go up, but current customers, as long as you keep subscribed monthly or yearly, doesn't matter, we keep the price for you. So all good news. Okay, uh, nice. So uh, next uh, question from Steven. Uh, does Play 3 come with coding features? Um, so who wants to take this one? You wanna go Joao or do you want me to? Say again, uh, yeah, the coding features. So, um... We uh, right now, what you can do when uh, you import the full game into Play 3, you can use the same shortcuts you were using in Play 2. So the S and R is to save an event of a predetermined amount of time, or you can record the event live uh, into your playlist. Uh, as we move along the year, we'll, we'll uh, get the coding features all available to you, uh, even a better version uh, for you in Play 3. Yeah, so to add to that, uh, maybe 
So basically you can keep using Play 2 as you were using until now, right? So the coding features remain in Play 2 for now. Um, and you can prepare the playlist in Play 2 and make the annotations in Play 2 or export that playlist to put it into Play 3 and do all the advanced illustration on Play 3 or add clips directly on Play 3. And as I said, in the coming months, there will be a, a lot of releases. As I said, we will do a monthly release from now on and there will be more and more features. Um, I said a little bit what, what's coming, but the, in general, the objective is that Play 3 will become an all-in-one solution. Uh, so not only coding and video and playlists, but also statistics, data, everything in one platform. So for now, coding in Play 2, bring the playlist to for advanced illustration in Play 3, or add your clips directly in Play 3. OK. Uh, thank you, guys. So next question uh, is from Antonio. Um, I think Sancho already mentioned something previously. Is it possible to do live analysis, Sancho? Yeah, it's a, a good question. And to be honest, probably a, a question we expected. We hinted a little bit at, um, you know, live analysis is coming to Metrica. To be honest, the question I was expecting is when is it coming? I think this will be a big question for everyone. When is it going to be available? When is it going to be available? So I can answer. I can answer both. Metrica is is adding live analysis. That much is is obvious. In terms of when it's coming, we won't give an exact date today because we want to be a hundred percent sure we're going to deliver on this date. But I can tell you that from a development point of view, from a technical point of view, it's actually ready. It's it's ready. It's working. It looks brilliant. Now what we have to do is implement it. So we have to implement the UI, we have to connect all the buttons, we have to make it logical and make everything work in the software. But while we won't give you a date today, we're hoping we can give you a nice surprise in terms of the of, of the time we, we can release this. So as Ruben said, we're gonna have regular updates. Every month there's gonna be updates. Live analysis is a, a big priority for us so we can be confident that it's it's going to be soon it's a it's a it's a big one for us and i know it's a heavily requested feature and will bring a lot of value to our users okay um the next one so pablo wants to know uh can play three work with 4k videos yeah i'm happy to go again on on this okay. one again, another another good question uh, the easy answer is yes. <laughs> so yes, it can work with 4K. It can work with super high definition videos. Now, we know in Play 2, for some users, for some lower spec laptops, they had some playback issues with really high quality videos. And this was, again, one of the big motivators for creating the new software from scratch. So now 4K, HD, high definition, high frame rate videos will play really nicely in, in Play. And... In fact, we've actually developed our, our own video player. So previously we, we worked with VLC, which is a, a good video player. But if there were any issues, we were kind of relying on VLC to up, make an update so that we could make changes and, and make certain video files work. What for me is really exciting now is if you have any problems, which you shouldn't, it should be very, very good with all types of videos. We've done a lot of testing, but if you have any problems, there's a very high likelihood that you can send that video file to us. We can make some changes and we're much more flexible with the, the new video player that we've got. And it's also future proofing the software as well. So we know video file formats will change. It'll be 4K, 8K, even higher definition. And we're in a position now where we can accept all types of video and we can develop within our own video player for, for future files as well. So I think it's a a really big improvement from Play 2. And I think it's something our users will feel a lot as they start to dig into Play 3. Okay, well, that's very nice. Um, the next question. So Yusuf uh, says, I wish there would be shortcuts from keyboard so that we can work with uh, less time. Uh, so Joao, uh, are there gonna be shortcuts in Play 3? Yeah, yeah, plenty, plenty of them. You will be able to save a lot of time uh, we've implemented a lot of new shortcuts, uh, the same one that came before, but now the what we would call the default ones, such as Command Z to undo actions, copy, paste, Command A. But now you can also trim your timeline in a very, very, very short um, amount of time in a very easy way, in a very seamless way. Um, many ways you can... Uh, copy files from one playlist to another one, uh, adding visualizations, changing them, grouping them. Um, 
you're gonna have so many shortcuts now and um, it's gonna be a huge amount of uh, saving th that time that before you had to do it manually, put the needle here, change it back. Now there's a lot more uh, ways you can save that time. So yeah, uh, you will be having uh, plenty, plenty of shortcuts and they're all detailed there in the menus. Uh, yeah. Soon when everything is out, you can access the tutorials you'll notice that every action you have, the shortcut is right there for you. So there's no need to go to a specific page to know it or memorize it. Everything is right there for you. Okay, that's great. I think we, I think we had, sorry, Enzo, I think we had a list previously for play two that was one page. And I think now the list of shortcuts will be 20 pages. There's really a shortcut for, for everything. And it will be a challenge for, for me and you, Joao and Ruben and Enzo to learn them all ourselves so we can share them. But yeah, there's a shortcut for everything and it's uh, really, really nice to work with Play now. Every action can have a shortcut and you can really reduce the time it takes to put these presentations together. Okay, nice. Um, so Evo Boritze, uh, he's asking two things. So one is, can we open our workspaces from Play 2 in Play 3? So that's one. And the other one, which is also related uh, is so... So he's asking if play three is for telestration. So who wants to, to address this regarding how's the workflow and how everything works uh, with play two and play three together? So yeah, the, the workspaces, you need to create them from scratch now in play three. So this is a completely new software, much advanced technology than before. So everything will have to be started from scratch now. Uh, what we mentioned before was if you want to code the game, you need to use Play 2. So you need to export that those videos, import them into Play 3. But everything else needs to be created now uh, from scratch uh, in Play 3. And uh, to answer the other question, is Play 3 now just for telestration? As of now, yes. Uh, as we move along the year, we will be adding new features, the coding platform, everything else. Uh, but right now, at this moment, uh, it is only focused on the telestration, cutting the clips, importing them, and making them uh, as cool looking as uh, possible. Yeah, okay. just to add, as I said before, right? So the next, and as Sanchez said, the next big feature that we will add is video streaming and recording and sharing with the bench. So and that's coming soon. So that's the first, the big, the next big release coming. And that will already be the first step towards. Play 3 not being only a telestration tool, but more of an analysis tool. And as I said, more coming data, stats, more stuff. Okay, nice. Um, so the next question that I have is from Roberto. Um, so Roberto asks, uh, can all my staff use the same visualization? So I guess uh, Roberto is referring to if if he, he makes some uh, personalized visualizations in Play 3 and save them if he can share with other users. Who wants to address this one? I guess you are, Sancho. Yeah, I'm happy to go again. So this is another huge feature that was, to be honest, was missing from Play 2. And it's the saving of presets. So as Joao showed you in his little demonstration, you can set up a, a style of ring, edit the number of segments you want, get exactly the color you want, attach an ID, perfect font you need, also attach a spotlight, and then you can group these items together and save it as a preset and put it in your in a folder. So you can organize these presets into folder and have as many as you like. You can also export and import these folders. So if I'm working in a team with Ruben and Joao, I can set up all of our visualizations, so they're perfect for the Metrica branding. It's got the logo, it's got the colors, it's got the right font. And then I can send this folder to those guys. They can import it and we can have a really consistent look and feel across all our presentations, whether it's me making them, whether it's Ruben, whether it's Joao. So this will be, a, again, a really nice feature. So in answer to the question, yes, we can, we can share the templates across the organization and we can all use the same visualizations that we make. Okay. That's very nice. Um, okay, just just to be a uh, hundred percent sure, um, there's another question. I say, do we only have play three on a trial basis for seven days? 
Uh, no, so everyone has access to Play 3 uh, for a week, uh, starting today until next next Tuesday. Uh, then the trial will remain the same. Will remain new users have access for a week on a free trial, and then Play 3 is included in all, all the plans from the Prime plan and above. Okay. Well, um, so I guess this way we conclude with uh, the webinar. So we want to express our gratitude for your active uh, participation. So I left a link in the chat box uh, that will take you to all the information you need to get started with Play3. Uh, so if you can access from there, if you, if you can't, uh, just go to our website, to our blog section, our last latest uh, blog post, we have all this information. Uh, but we keep you updated, updated for sure in the coming uh, days. Uh, please don't hesitate to reach in case of any doubts regarding the usage of the new software. So thank you once again for joining us today. Um, we hope you find you found this webinar informative and inspiring. Stay tuned for future updates from Metrica Sports and have a great day. And we look forward to connecting with you again very, very soon. Thanks, okay.